I'm not pregnant again. I got our daycare provider a drink as well. That's a diaper. Throw it away. Here, go throw it away. If you guys are new here, my name is Kathy. I am a teacher, a mom now of two babies. And yeah, this is my channel. I make lifestyle content, I make motherhood content, I also make teaching content. But right now, this is the newborn stage, so I'm making a lot of motherhood videos, or I plan to. So um, anyways, if you guys are new here, welcome to my channel. I'm so happy that you guys are here. And if you're not subscribed yet, subscribe down below so you don't miss any future videos so this is a little day in my life with a newborn now my daughter ollie she is five weeks old now if you guys have been watching me for a while i uploaded my last video which was our birth vlog and that was the only video i've posted since um yeah things have been pretty good around here it's been busy it's been crazy it's been overwhelming it's been emotional but when I look back on it, it's been a good five weeks. I'm making this video today not to like show you guys exactly what I'm doing or what you should do. This is more of like glimpses during my day of how I take care of a newborn, how I take care of myself, how I take care of our one-year-old as well. I also wanted to point out that motherhood has no guide. There is nothing that says you have to do things any certain way, so don't ever feel like... Okay, I'm gonna move you guys a little bit. Okay, I needed to change my settings a little bit. Okay, I feel like when I had Indy, I read up on so much stuff, like 
sleeping and eating and the way you play with your babies and just all the things that are out there in the world um and my mind just like was filled with that information and so every little thing that i did i felt like needed to be perfect in the way that all the articles said they had to be so i just hope that if you are a first time mom or even if you're a second time mom i hope that things get more chilled out for you if that's how you were as well because for me, like I would feel guilty if like the wake window, if I wasn't down on the floor with her the whole hour or the whole two hours she was down on the ground. I felt guilty if I was sitting on the couch and she had a wake window. Such a bad mindset that I had um, and I was just like so stressed about it, so anxious and I thought those things were so normal. Like in that time, I just thought, oh, this is how it should be. This time around, I'm so much more chilled out, low expectations. I had such high expectations the last time like for me and my husband, just everything had to be exact. I'm just chilling. Like right now, Ollie has her wait time. She's on the floor on her play mat and I'm okay with it. I'm just having a conversation with you guys and drinking coffee. Um, but yeah, I miss vlogging. I miss talking to you guys. I miss interacting with you all. I am definitely more active on Instagram. So if you don't follow me already, here is my Instagram handle. You should follow me. I'm, I'm always posting on there. I'm just starting my vlog out now at 9.30 because my mornings are so crazy because of it's just me now brandon is going back to work if you didn't know he's an anesthesiology resident at the navy hospital here in san diego he finally went back to work after four weeks and those four weeks were true bliss indy i take her to daycare in the morning guys that is the hardest part of my morning but the hardest part of my morning is waking up getting indy ready making sure ollie's like fed and changed and everything before we leave the house and then Right now, Indy's in that stage where she's like independent, but still wants to be like loved and babied and all that stuff. So yesterday was really rough. She would not let me put on her diaper, would not let me put on socks. This morning she was very sweet and let me just do what I needed to do. But some days are better than others with the toddler. This morning she already had her bottle. She woke up three times last night. I say last night, one of them was this morning, but um, she woke up at like 11.30 last night. 2 30 and then this morning at like 5 30 ish so every day is different i would say she's pretty consistent like she'll wake up every three hours ish overnight um and then i try to keep her wake window to about an hour 15 minutes um that's when i see that she's getting a little fussy i don't try to time it like i used to um but i do use an app that i really like which is called baby tracker i'll insert a clip right here it's amazing i love using it just because it helps keep me on track like if i'm busy with something and I totally forget that she hadn't eaten for like four hours then I know or if I know that she's getting fussy and I don't know why and she's already eaten then I know oh she's probably tired you guys I remember with the newborn stage with Indy hiccups and burping was like the worst for me because I just knew that if I laid Indy down and she had the hiccups and she wouldn't go back to sleep I know if I laid her down and she didn't burp then she would immediately spit up and just be really fussy Ollie's a little bit more chill in that department where she will wake up maybe spit up but she won't like be frustrated that much I'll just hear it and then I'll wipe it up really quickly and then I'll get up to burp her or something if she needs to this is our love every mat we've used this with Indy um I love this thing so much it's so simple it, but it has so many different features for like every stage that they're in so right now I just have these um, contrast cards up here so that she can look at but there's so many good features on here and it's such a good spot for her just to like have her wake time you guys her hairline is so funny <laughs> you can probably see right here she has like no top hair but she has like hair on the sides and stuff it says i fed her 41 minutes ago and she's been up for 52 minutes this is the reality of our room right now it's not super messy it's just kind of thrown around but I wanted to explain kind of how I breastfeed overnight. So if you didn't know, I tried to, when I posted on Instagram, I got a lot of questions about how I'm pumping, how I'm breastfeeding and stuff like that. So just to sum it up and make it short, I pump during the day and then I breastfeed overnight. And the reason why I do that is because um, 
one pumping during the day empties my breasts out so i don't feel like engorgement or anything like that two it kind of helps me have a stash for the freezer so right now i'm making over what she eats which means she'll take like three ounces i make around six to ten ounces depending on the time of day and then i just freeze the rest of that milk so i know that there is reserves for later if anything does happen which i know that does happen a lot where a lot of women stop breastfeeding or something happens like mastitis things just happen so i wanted to make sure this time around that i had enough milk because last time that was not it was not great i was using like this handheld pump that only did one side at a time i didn't have like an actual pump that emptied me that was for both sides so it was very just i don't know i was a first time mom so i was just doing things that i thought were great i don't know i breastfeed overnight because one i don't want to do dishes i don't want to have pump parts going i just want to like put her on my boob right away as she's giving me the cues that she's hungry she sleeps in this bassinet with her swaddle and stuff and then um every three hours like i said she wakes up um and then she's ready to eat so this is my side of the bed and she kind of like starts fussing she makes noises like grunts and stuff i know that's whenever she's about to get hungry i check my phone and see how long it's been and then i pick her up I slide up and my pillow is like usually just horizontal and then I kind of just prop my pillow up straight and that little back pillow is from Target by the way and then I take her and then I just breastfeed her right then and there. Um, this has been like <laughs> the most comfortable and easiest thing for me to do. I don't want to get up out of bed and like go to a chair or anything so I just prop myself up here, burp her there, feed her there, change her there sometimes too like if I need to and yeah. I actually am wearing a pumping bra underneath here. Okay, I'm just gonna go grab Ollie, rock her to sleep, and then I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Did you burp? Two a.m. say it didn't mean to hit my phone. You want attention, don't wanna be alone. You never were a good liar So why the hell would you try to Pull the wool over my eyes like I'm dumb You're acting true Indy is... Indy Ollie is now down for her nap and I was saying earlier I pump like during the day um, but if she's like hungry or she's showing me that she's hungry I'll just put her on my boob just because it's easier so she ate about 10 minutes on my boob and then she's now down for her nap and I was gonna mention postpartum like it's really hard to take care of yourself at least for me it is I know for some people it comes a lot easier and some days like I won't take a shower or some days I don't brush my teeth until like 12 p.m. But the things that made me really happy and really put together and I don't feel like crappy about myself when I get to brush my teeth, when I actually get to shower, um, when I get to like put sunscreen on my face. In other news, um, my brother is coming tomorrow. Um, if you know me, you know that my brother and I are really close. We're only like a year apart, which Indy and Ollie are going to be about a year apart. He is like the most chill person to stay with us because he doesn't need anything. He knows exactly what to do. He knows where everything is. Um, we don't have to ever make him food. We don't have to do anything. He drives my car if he needs to go to the store. He drives my car if he needs to go to the gym. Um, I was also going to mention this. Someone asked me on Instagram about when should you have guests come over when is a good time things like that it's really all up to you your situation but me personally i would wait a few weeks because especially if you're a first time mom i would say wait a few weeks see what rhythms routines work best for you what can your husband or your partner help you with you want to kind of get into your own groove with your partner or whoever's helping you or if you're doing it alone you want to get into those grooves that you have so then you can kind of get used to things on your own because when you have people over it's overwhelming because you kind of just want like that peace and quiet you kind of want to figure things out on your own at least for me i didn't want like the help right away just because it can feel very vulnerable at that stage you're emotional you're not really like 
yourself yet you're, you're kind of in that postpartum fog also another good tip is be specific when you have guests like what you want help with because i feel like most people don't really know what to help with i really liked when people helped me out making food or helping me clean up um indie after dinner or helping me make lunch for indie or picking things up around the house putting away dishes playing with the kids um, that was a big thing whenever we had family over i think a big thing was like a lot of the time i'm hooked up like on my breast pump or ollie's feeding on me or i'm burping or i'm trying to rock her to sleep or i'm cleaning up and it's really hard to take care of indy or it's really hard to make lunch or it's really hard to clean up whenever you're kind of like tied down to something so i think a big thing is if you have kids like, a good thing for a family member to do is play with the other kid distract them while you're trying to get things done or so that you can have some peace and quiet communicating with them what you want um, but also them understanding like this is a time where you need help and just kind of jumping in and doing things is really helpful too so that you're not sitting there trying to like delegate the whole time this has been a very chatty vlog i just feel like i've missed talking to the camera and just missed like catching up with you guys so sorry if this is very chatty but i'm trying to also show you guys like what i'm doing during the day also it's okay to make noise with your newborn like i was afraid before that every little peep i had to be quiet um but now like we literally talk we watch tv we vacuum like everything in front of her and it's okay because they should hear the sounds um like during the day so they know the difference it kind of helps them distinguish like daytime nighttime nighttime is a lot more quiet less stimulation daytime is a lot more noise and they just get used to it like they don't mind like we think when you're pumping and bottle feeding there's so many dishes i really try to stay on top of it and try to wash pretty much right away if i can just so that they don't pile up and you know within the next two hours i'm gonna need to pump again so i try to make sure that they're all dry before i start pumping and just so that my parts are ready because it's kind of a hassle like making sure everything is done and ready on time for my pump parts i just have like this water basin that i keep really hot water in soap and then i use my hands after i've washed them to kind of just hand wash all the pump parts now this stuff is so tedious it has worked so well for me just staying on track i don't have multiple pump parts yet which i would like to do at some point just to have like extra just in case i don't have time to wash right away it's been easier than i thought to keep up on the dishes i just really try to make sure that when she's down for her nap i prioritize cleaning up my stuff so that i can actually relax that's like my reward earlier i was trying to mention that i am wearing um a pumping bra this is from amazon i have multiple of these i just bought a bunch of them after i knew that they worked really well if you're pumping or you're even breastfeeding like these bras are amazing they have a section for pumping and then there's just a clip so that you can nurse um and i found that these are the best they hold in my flanges really really well and um they're really inexpensive on amazon they're pretty comfortable too like i can wear them all day and not be bothered by them um, this is the pump that i'm using this is the Pumpables Genie Advanced like portable pump. This has been a lifesaver. Now, I, if you watched one of my previous vlogs about me getting ready for our second baby, um, I mentioned that we were using the Spectra S1 or something, um, but I ended up not using it and it was free through my insurance. I think I'm going to either give it away or try to sell it or something just because I haven't used it and I don't really plan on using it because this pump works so well it works just as well as any pump would so it's really good so this is like my chill time where i try to catch up with emails or i literally just sit here and relax on my phone or watch a show or I think today I'm gonna edit this part of this video um, while she takes a nap just because I have that free time, I have energy, and I'm excited to start vlogging again. I have some updates that I need to mention, but I don't know if I'm gonna do it in this video just because it is kind of a lot. It's a pretty big um, life change that's about to happen to us and now i'm not pregnant again it's been a stressful couple of weeks trying to get this done but i'm happy it's over with and i'm excited for what's to come watch out for the next video i'll try to explain everything there it's been a couple hours i have just been 
editing this part of the vlog so i hope you guys have been enjoying it so far um yeah it's time to pump now and i just have my stuff like air drying on this rack thing that i got from target um i keep like all my bottles and stuff here pump charging there and then all of my pump parts right here i do have to make sure they're completely dry just because i know like bacteria and stuff like that so i'm gonna finish drying them up since they are still kind of damp if you guys live in california you guys know that it has been so rainy and just gray like there's a couple days in there's a couple days like out of the week where it's like really nice and sunny but i don't know the rain has been crazy and everyone from san diego from california have said they've all said like this is not normal like this is the most rain that we've ever had here um so i don't know kind of excited for the rain to just move on out of here and for it to be summer because once summer hits like the weather is just phenomenal um but we've still been making we've still been taking advantage of like just going outside and hanging out at the park with indy um we have been really really good at just making sure that indy is getting you know um enough attention a lot of my time has been with ollie so i never want to make her feel like she's just less than because we have another child so we've been going to parks we've been hanging outside um a lot more cuddle sessions and just like one-on-one -on -one time also if you guys are interested in like a day in my life like two under two i'd be happy to make that right now i just don't feel like it's the best time for me to just because i'm already um taking care of another tiny little human for most of my day i don't know how some people vlog when they have two kids or more than that because i feel like for me it's already hard to like set up shots and just like make time to talk while you're also hanging out with your kids and like doing all of the other things so let me know how you guys do it if you do just because i feel like that is another thing that i will tackle one day but for right now i'm happy with where i am and how i'm vlogging i'm not putting any pressure on myself um to make things like aesthetic or to pull out my camera unless i really feel like i am free to do it so anyway oh setting up my pump it's all ready i pump for about 20 minutes um that empties me and i pump about every two to three hours depending on like what i'm doing and how i feel since i nursed on my right the last time this is my right side compared to my left so when i say that the amounts just vary depending on time what i'm doing this is what it looks like i have probably six ounces in on my left side and then i have about three ounces on this side which is really good basically i'm about to wake her up it's been almost two hours 30 minutes and she last eight and i want to give her some wake time i want to give her time to actually eat and she eats about for a bottle she usually takes about 10 minutes to eat since this is three ounces that's how much i'm going to put in a bottle for her and that's about how much she eats each feed for right now and that's um at five weeks old sometimes she takes a little less sometimes she'll ask for more depending on how she's feeling And then I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a separate bottle to add to my pitcher and I'll show you guys like the pitcher method that I'm using for pulling all of my milk. Ollie's down for her second nap and I'm gonna show you guys how I do the pulling method. Now I'm just gonna show you guys and then like just tell you like the things I do slash use. Um, but yeah, you should research it if you don't know what it is. I'm just gonna kind of give you what I do. Here's my picture. 
Um, and then here are some bottles that I had in the fridge. So basically I pump and then luckily I am making a little bit more than she drinks. So for example, I just pumped, I pumped about nine to 10 ounces, I think. Um, so I went and put the fresh milk in a bottle. These bottles are good for four hours. Once you're done pumping, I just pour a three ounce bottle and just leave it over on the side because it's good for four hours and she's gonna eat in another two to three hours. So I put that aside. And then anything else that I have, so I had like three to four ounces left over that she's not gonna drink right away. So I go ahead and put them in these little Medela bottles and then I put them in the fridge to cool um, to fridge temperature so they can cool down so you're not mixing like warm milk and cold milk some people do do that it's kind of your preference really this is the milk that i've already pumped and poured into these bottles and then i directly put it into here within 24 hours so i don't go past 24 hours just because then you know it's not as good this was like milk from either last night or this morning i can't remember putting that in there that's why all the dishes pile up so quickly there's just a lot of parts and things. And so this one was from my pump earlier. So I had, I have three ounces left and the bottle that comes with my pump. So I'm gonna transfer it over to a different bottle. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the fridge. This pitcher is awesome because it literally just mixes it for you. Um, it's intended for formula, I believe, but you can use it whatever way you wish. Um, this is the Dr. Brown's pitcher. I will remember to link it down below. But yeah, basically now I'm ready. It's been 24 hours. I have put all my milk in from last night slash this morning, and I have about 24 ounces, it looks like. That's about usually how much I make, 20 to 25, depending on how much I'm pumping. If I'm out and about, then I'm usually breastfeeding, so I get less on those days. I have these just in my cupboard here. There you go. I used to be terribly afraid to even leave the house with a newborn because it'd be so stressful for me and triggering, but I make time to leave the house if I can. Um, five out of seven days, I'd say it's kind of a terrible habit, but it's also good for me. Okay, Ollie, we're gonna leave. I go and get bubble tea. I've just been craving this postpartum. Like, I don't know if it's like the calcium, the milk or what, but I always get some boba tea or yeah, boba tea. I go to a T7 here in San Diego. It's I get the Paramount, which is the number one, and then I get 75% sugar. And then I'm gonna go pick up Indy. That's the reason why we're leaving the house. I got our daycare provider a drink as well, just to brighten her day a little bit. Lotus milk tea, brown sugar boba, caramel brulee on top. There's a lot of stuff going on, but it's so good. It's like milky, refreshing everything anyways yeah we're gonna go pick up big sister and ollie does really well when the car is moving but not well when the car is stopped so i'm gonna get going Yeah. 
Rebecca, bye. <laughs> you rocking Sissy to sleep? How sweet. Did you want to give her a kiss? You want to give her a kiss? Okay. <laughs> You're so sweet. Thank you. Can you say hey, hey? Hey, hey. dinner time we're just having something very simple i just put some a pork chop in the air fryer with some rice and this is the best soy sauce seasoning whatever you want to call it we got the huge one because we love it brandon's home so he just helped me put ollie to bed and indy's eating turkey bacon with rice so yeah that's that's our dinner it's not extravagant it never really is we just make whatever we have thank you by the way, I think Indy has like a little cold, so I'm actually giving her my breast milk and she doesn't even mind it at all. Um, I think she thinks it's special that she gets some too, but I don't know. Hopefully it helps her heal faster if that's the case. All right, you guys, it is bright as day outside. It's like the sun is just now popping out after all this rain and we put Indy down even though it looks like daytime outside. I've got Ollie here. Um, during the evening hours, Ollie's a little bit more fussy and Indy was just like overtired. So they were both kind of just crying and needing our help and stuff, but we ate dinner, um, we hung out, and now I'm gonna end the vlog off here. I hope you guys had a good time following me along on this little journey of mine. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know what you guys would like to see next time. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!